We've now learned how to embed video and add images to our site, but you can also upload other file types, such as PDFs or even Word documents. When creating a new post or page, you can use the drag and drop multi-file uploader to add a new image, video file, audio file, or other types of media. But you can also use the media library to edit, delete, or view media files that have previously been uploaded to your site. You can view your media library in list view, as shown here, or in the new grid view. And you can filter media by type or by date. Right now, I'd like to upload a PDF version of the Stellar Widgets catalog, which I can use later in a post or a page. I'll click Add New to open the drag-and-drop uploader. If the drag and drop uploader doesn't work for you, simply click the Select Files button to open the standard upload screen, and then navigate to the files you want to upload. WordPress will upload the PDF file, adding it to our media library, and now we can edit the title, caption, and the description, which will appear only when this file is viewed on its own separate attachment page. Now our file is ready for use in a future post or page. In the list view, the new file indicates that it is unattached, which means that it has not yet been used in a post or page. When a file has been added to a particular page or post, we'll see it listed here with a link so that we can view the file in place. To insert this file, first open the page or post you wish to edit. Then, place the cursor where you'd like the link to appear and click Add Media. From the Media Library tab, select the file you wish to insert and then click Insert into Page. As you can see, WordPress has created a text link that our visitors can click to download the PDF file. We can also perform minor edits to images we've uploaded to our Media Library. If I click the Edit Image button, we're now presented a very basic image editor, which enables us to crop, rotate, or flip an image. And of course, you can undo and redo your changes. You can proportionately scale the original image by simply entering a new dimension in pixels, and WordPress will automatically adjust the other value to maintain the original proportions of that image. You can also specify the crop selection aspect ratio, and then hold down the shift key while dragging your cursor to maintain this ratio. Use the handles to adjust the selection, and then, when you're happy with your selection, choose whether you'd like this edit to be applied to all image sizes, the thumbnail only, or all sizes except the thumbnail. Click the crop icon to apply this edit. When you're done, click the Save button and then Update. And now our newly cropped image file has been updated and is ready for use in a new page or post. At any time you like, you can also restore the original image, removing any edits you might have made. 